what's going on guys welcome back to another one of a kind video where we do everything boating and fishing and outdoors so today guys uh you guys are staring at my brand new 150 dollars bass boat now you guys heard me correct 150 dollars that's insane i got this boat and trailer and title and trailer registration for 150 dollars guys absolutely insane deal so without further ado guys let me go ahead and show you guys how exactly i got the boat and uh how we got to this point forward right here currently it's what time is it 8 30 in the morning um no lie it says 8 30 in the morning right there um i'm usually never up this early but you know when i hear about project boats the night before and you know i got a project in in, in place it's like i'm excited so i got i'm up early you know we're about to go check it out i gotta drive 45 minutes i think to go see it guys but it's a really really good deal it's a uh it's a, i think it's a 19 foot uh, 1985 Astro Glass Bass Boat um, for $300 right now, title for boat, title for trailer, which is extremely, extremely good. That's a big, um, it's a big check off the list right there. Um, and it, it looks pretty good, guys. It looks pretty good. I mean, a little bit of clear coat pill. I'll pop up a picture on the screen of how it looks right now. Um, but yeah, guys, it doesn't look too, too bad. So I'm, I, it wasn't really my ideal boat to go ahead and do as my first flip boat. But when you see a good deal, guys, and you're 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 in this business and and you're trying to you know sell boats, you don't really get to pick and choose what you like. You know, you you have to do stuff outside your comfort zone and stuff you haven't done before. And you know, even though I don't know, you might not want to do you have, you still have to go for it. You still have to get the, the good deals. And, you know, sometimes those good deals gets you going and gets you motivated. So I'm really, really excited, guys. We're about to go um down there and check out the boat. And uh, yeah, hopefully everything goes well. And uh, I will catch up with you guys when I'm. Well guys, I don't know if you can see that, sort of, but there's a boat. There's a boat back there, guys. So uh, <laughs> let's uh, let's go ahead and head on home, guys. We about got about an hour drive in the with the work truck. So first uh, boat project in the work truck, and uh, first boat we're actually towing home ourselves. So let's hope we make it home. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. So now that you guys saw. <laughs> How we got here um i picked up this boat in my new my work truck that you guys saw me get and um it was the first time towing an actual boat by myself and we got it home it got it home successfully so this boat is actually insane guys especially for the price that i paid this is my cheapest boat ever i guess beside the the free boat that i did have um 150 dollars guys for this 17 and a half foot um astro glass bass boat now as you guys can tell i mean this boat is just it needs a ton of work guys i mean there's no motor on it there's um the floors you know messed up the carpeting's all gone i mean it's it needs a, it needs a gut job to be honest guys you know we're gonna have to peel the clear coat off and everything else like that but i mean it's a great great project boat for sure so um let's go ahead and show you guys the features of the boat so over here guys uh one of my favorite parts about this boat is the fact that we do have all these cubbies and stuff like that you know on these bigger bass boats you're going to have more space which just kind of adds to the boat's value all in all so i mean back here guys we have these cubbies and stuff like that we have an option for the chair it does have an inboard uh fuel tank so i mean like like right here guys these cubbies right here this is i believe one of the bait wells i think like that looks like it um some bait right here we have our uh live well for you know when you fish bass tournaments and stuff like that you have to put you have to keep your your fish to the end of the day so we got a massive live well in here guys which is really really cool um just honestly a bunch of hatches with a bunch of like cool stuff like this one looks like another kind of live well you know it, it, it could be transformed into like something that holds tackle or whatever um back here guys the transom is actually rated for 155 horsepower motor so i mean i don't know what we're gonna power it with yet but you know we got some time for that um over here guys it was cool too because the the 150 boat came with um some seats so we got our little bass boat seats right here so we're gonna have to get these suckers reupholstered and stuff like that and you know get them re-put in and um everything else you know unfortunately it didn't come with steering it didn't come with anything else uh like needed for the boat or whatever but um it's it's good bones you know so it's got a lot of cool accessories and stuff like that you know there's a lot of space to move around you know which is what i like about it you know going to sell this boat it's a very um appealing boat because there's a lot of features to the boat so i mean over here it's like this you could have two chairs on here 
We've got cup holders over here, guys. Um, right over here, too. This is actually one of my favorite parts of the boat, is you have a, a, a rod locker right here. So it's gonna be really cool, guys. As I redo the boat, I already um, have been watching like other people on YouTube and how they've uh, redone their bass boats and stuff like that. And um, we're gonna go ahead and put carpet in here, put like a little bit of um, rod holder separators and stuff like that. And obviously, guys, we're gonna go ahead and recarpet the hatches and stuff like that because it needs a ton of work. All right, guys. So over here is the actual console. So it's got a bunch of uh, you know openings for gauges, GPS, all that fun stuff. Um, so obviously, like I said, we're gonna have to put a steering wheel and a whole steering system in this boat. No big deal, guys. Um, so we have. A bunch of space right here to play with for the uh, the features and extra accessories for the boat, which is going to be cool. So I don't really know what I'm going to put in just yet. I don't know if I want to put in the GPS or fish finder or what yet. Um, but we'll figure that out, you know. But it's got a cool little side console right here. And like I said, guys, ton of room, ton of fishing room on this boat, you know. So this is a pretty big boat, guys. This is a 17 and a half foot boat, like I said. So I mean, you got a ton of space on this thing, you know. So. It's good and bad, you know, so it's going to be a ton of work, but you know, it's going to be for the person that buys this boat, you're going to have a ton of fishing your space, you know, just the back of the boat itself, you know, it's going to be, it's, it's awesome. So over here to the casting platform, guys, um, you do actually have the option for a trolling motor mount up here. The holes are actually already up here uh, for that. So I don't think I'm going to be able, I'm going to be the one that's going to put the trolling motor on this thing, guys, just because, you know, I got to watch how much I'm putting into this project boat. Um, but then another cool thing too guys is um right here you have had more hatches and stuff like that and you have a front live well up here which is pretty cool so you know could hold you know shiners or I don't even know what freshwater live bait people really use I don't really do a whole lot of freshwater fishing but you know you can put live bait in here um you got you know storage up here for you know tackle stuff like that you know so it'd be cool we can you know kind of customize that a little bit you know make it look all nice and then up here, same thing. You can put like tackle and stuff like that and, and cool stuff. So like I said, I already have a, a an idea of what I want to do with these inside. You know, we're going to carpet them and everything else. So you're not seeing the, the fiberglass, you know, on the inside of the hole. Because, you know, to some people that might be a little bit, uh, you know, not visually pleasing, you know, but not like this boat is right now. I mean, it's got a ton of clear coat peel and it needs a good amount of work, guys. But I mean, $150 bass boat. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look on the outside of the boat and uh, show you the outside. So here's the trailer guys, um, to my 17 and a half foot Astro Glass bass boat. And the trailer is in relatively good condition guys. Like it's gonna need a little bit of, you know, cosmetic work. Um, I actually do need to replace the axle and two of the bars underneath. Um, but you know, doing the whaler, you know, cause I've already done the Boston whaler. I already uh, know how to get, you know, cheap trailer parts for it, you know? So that's no biggie. That's, you know, that'll be a fun little project. But I mean, look at the outside of this boat guys. I mean, it looks a little rough on camera, but I mean, you guys can see what the paint looks like and it looks absolutely beautiful. <laughs> I don't like bass fishing. I'm not a huge fan of bass boats, but that's one thing I'll give them is the paint on these boats look fantastic. So like I said, we have a little bit of clear coat peel, but you know, we just have to wet sand that down, re-clear coat it, and it should look brand new like at how it came out of the factory. But I mean, all in all, but guys, this boat looks pretty good. I mean, front of the boat is really where it looks really good. So you guys can see, I mean, that paint looks really, really nice. So, I mean, once, like I said, once we get this thing re-clear coated and fixed up, I mean, it's gonna be really, really nice, guys. Alrighty, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Um, yeah, this is my new $150 uh, Astro Glass Bass Boat. So this is gonna be the new project for the channel, guys. Um, we're gonna do a little bit of a project series with this one too, where we, you know, we go ahead and completely redo the boat, you know, make it nice again, and you know, put it back on the water, and then you know, we'll uh, we'll sell it. So uh, yeah, guys, if you guys are interested in um, seeing me redo this bass boat and uh, what, what I'm gonna do to it and everything else like that, please, please go ahead and subscribe, guys. Um, it definitely helps out the channel. Leave a like on this video. It, uh, you know helps out a lot too um and then also go ahead and comment down below guys let me know your uh thoughts and opinion of, thoughts and opinions of my new bass boat and uh let me know what i should do to it guys you know whether i should do a certain color carpeting put a certain motor on it let me know let me know down in the comments and uh thank you guys so much for watching and uh 
I guess we'll uh, we'll go ahead and see you guys in the first restoration video of uh of our new project boat. So uh, I'll go ahead and see you in the next one, guys. One of a kind. Out.